This is the house of Thomas Mapikela, one of the founding fathers of the African National Congress, built in 1926. It has many pivotal meetings in the party's formative years and has now been declared a national heritage site. He called it Ulundikaya, meaning the horizon house for the liberation of the black person someday, and of which really the blacks are liberated today. This was known as the boardroom. They had a long table and a big table where they used to, to, to hold their executive meetings. The dignitaries were taken care of. They used to sleep here and the catering was done here. All those uh, people like Dato uh, John Lagalbelele and the others, they used to come to this house. They used to sleep here. People will come from, as far, from overseas before leaving Plufantin, they will come to this house to come and visit. It means that he's not only known in South Africa, but abroad as well. We ask, how does the family feel about their home being recognized as a heritage site? We are, we are happy. Most of that, we feel that it is not left behind. He is always on the floor. They are recognizing him. They haven't forget, forgotten about him. So we feel very honored. We are happy. The first meeting of the African National Congress took place in this building in Vihook, Bloemfontein. We still have this church by the, the Wesleyan Church, uh, whereby the greatest movement which was born under the altar, under the cross, the African National Congress, it was born in this church. It, it was important for us to have this meeting of which today we are, we are, we are, we are celebrating the Sandro Test because of these forefathers of the ANC who made an initiative to see us where we are today. It actually shaped what we are today as South Africa, a caring and united society.